Yeah, I don't think there's been somebody that's been this magnitude that's come to Southern California wrestling. So since the last program here, D1 program, has been Fullerton, um, I don't think they had anybody. So I, somebody to this magnitude hasn't been in Southern California for at least 20 years. Well, don't get me wrong. You guys have done some cool things on campus. I right. was here when the Stanford Cardinal came on campus, right. and they had the, the big match outdoors, out right. on the lawn. Mm -hmm. So you've had some big-time competition. You've done some out-of-the-box things, yeah. but having the Buckeyes here for, for opening night for your home open right. inside the event center, I mean, that's a huge deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're excited, actually. I mean, I think the wrestling community, one of the, one of the reasons to bring them in was trying to get the wrestling community kind of uh, excited around here. Um, so there's, I think they have six All-Americans, you know, returning All-Americans, and uh, for high school kids to come and watch these kids wrestle, is, it's a big deal. And then for us, you know, we hope to get there someday to that mm -hmm. level, and so let's see where we are, and let's see how far we, we got to go. <laughs> now, in terms of, you know, Division One wrestling, I know those Midwest schools are powerhouses. Mm -hmm. I mean, Penn State beat Ohio State head-to-head. Oklahoma State, Iowa, I could go, go on and right, on, but right. is that where you're hoping to maybe see CBU, maybe not this year or next year, but maybe big picture kind of thing that you want to be up there with the elite? Yeah, well, I've, you know, Russell fans for a long time have said about California has been one of the better schools, as, or I'm sorry, states, as far as putting out talent. And then, then they'll say, but you don't have a college there that really... Because they all leave, right? They all they go... They leave, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're hoping that, and there's some very good kids coming up through this state. We're hoping, and, and out of state, that are, you know, expressing interest, you know, in CBU. Mm -hmm. So we got to go through this transition spit, uh, time of four years. It's, uh, but after the end of the four years, uh, we're hoping to really draw that same type of talent. There's a lot of kids that are talented. There's only so many kids that can go to Penn State and Ohio State and Oklahoma State and Iowa. Yeah. And the weather out here is an attraction, of course. <laughs> yeah. uh, the beach is an attraction. But our, our university is also an attraction. So um, I, I think it's possible. So you finished third in the nation last year mm -hmm. at Division Two. Right. As if you're, I'm not, if I'm a casual wrestling fan, if I'm just watching the show, I mean, is that a huge gap going from third best in the country in D2 to going up against the national runner-up uh, at D1? Yeah, it's a good step. Uh, just to give you an idea, Ohio State wrestled North Carolina State last year, I think in a duel. I think mm -hmm. it was North Carolina State. They were ranked fourth in D1, and they beat them, I think it was like 38-3. to three. So the one and twos, and well, usually one, two, three, and four in D1 is, is set apart. They're usually considerably higher than six, seven, eight, nine. Not always, but yeah. So that in their have, case, they did. So yes. it's kind of top heavy, at least maybe with those top programs. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. How did this come about? How did you get the Buckeyes to come out here? To I mean, besides the beautiful weather and the right. beautiful campus, but yeah. how did you get Ohio State to come out here? Well, Tom Ryan, who's the head coach, mm -hmm. uh, I was coaching at Iowa when he came to wrestle there. So we've kind of we've we've established a friendship over the years, and uh, you know our family's actually fairly close to his. So. It's a favor on his part. <laughs> it's like a little mini vacation, though, coming here to Riverside, I guess, right? It's yeah. Beautiful oh, I think they're I think they're going to like it. Yeah, I think they're going to enjoy the the trip for sure. We're yeah. going inside the Lancers, presented by Magnolia Heating and Cooling, with Coach Zaleski. Coach, what are you hoping to see come that night against the Buckeyes inside the event center? Are you are you hoping that it's going to be sold out, packed? I know. Again, going back to those Midwest programs. Those, you know, those Penn States, the Ohio States, they sell those arenas out, and it's a huge deal. Are you right. hoping to see something similar? Yeah, we're hoping to sell it out. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have over 1,000 tickets sold already. I think it's 5,000 capacity, just a little bit underneath. Most of the fans will probably show up that night. Um, but, yeah, we're hoping to have that s sold out. And that arena, I was, kind of, I was in it the other day, it's just a perfect place, a perfect bowl for for rustling actually um so i'm kind of that's we're excited about that for sure and then of course if we compete well or beat any of those guys um you know we're, we're going to be excited we'll be excited if we win we're really excited <laughs> but we, it's a tall order it's a tall order
you've got some some pretty good wrestlers of your own. I'm talking about Daxton Gordon, who's a, right. a national champion. I think he was mm-hmm. at 149 last yep. year. Mm-hmm. Um, what are some of the weight classes that you're looking at that you feel like you guys have a pretty good shot, some of the wrestlers you have coming back? Yeah, we have a really young team. So we have, um, I think half our team is like freshmen or transfers, or and they're freshman transfers. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, Zach Schrader, our heavyweight, actually beat uh, Ohio State kid last year. was actually the national champion's brother, but he wasn't a starter. Uh, Zach, uh, but I do believe Daxton could do okay, although at the, his weight, I think they're going to have a couple-time All-American. So, you know, we'll see, you know, it's, it's the, what the difference is. Um, you know, G- Garrett Strang had a good year last year, made it to the NCAA tournament. He's going to be down a couple weights, probably more closer to the weight to, to Russell than he did last year. But we have probably, I'm trying to think who we're going to We're going to have a new at a lot of weight classes, 41. 57, 97, 25, uh, you know, so we'll see. Uh, but these guys in the room look good, so we'll just see how they compete. You get to see them for the first time. I believe it's at Cal Poly, right? right. So you open mm-hmm. up on the road. Right. Is that kind of uh, maybe, uh, you know, the cliche is a barometer or a measuring stick or whatnot, just to see what you guys, since it's a young squad, what you kind of have before you go into the huge home match against Ohio State? Well, it's good to have a match like that, yes, beforehand. Mm-hmm. Um, in some respects, yeah, we'll use it as a barometer to see if they're how they how they rustle. I, I know how they rustle. Just can they do what they do in practice out in the match? So, um, yeah, it'll be an interesting night, you know, because there's going to be other things going on. Not only do we have a good team, but I, I imagine we're going to have a lot of fans, and it's pretty easy to get caught up in that. So, you know, there's a lot of things for an athlete in to compete at this level that are going to be going on in the head. So they're young, uh, big crowd, and a big team. So we'll, we'll see how we, we do with all that. Plus a high school match, right? The yep. same night with uh, Poway and St. John mm-hmm. Bosco, right? That's, yes. that's a great way to um, get high school kids in there. Maybe, like you said, open their eyes up to big-time Division One college wrestling. Right. Yeah, so we got Poway, who's perennially in the top three, mm-hmm. has stayed for a long time. They're a good team, but they got a tough team, St. John Bosco, and they got quite a few good kids. That'll be a really good match in itself. So if you're a high school, you know, wrestler or coach, you get both here. You know, so you get both levels. Is, and, is that before, or after, or same same time? Same time. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna run two mats simultaneously. Mm-hmm. So. Gotcha. Yeah, otherwise it'd be like a four-hour event. That's a long yeah. event. So this will be like an hour and a half, hour, 45 minutes. It's going to depend, of course, on pins and, you know, uh, how long the match goes. But uh, it should run an hour and a half to an hour, 45 minutes. But that uh, that in itself is going to be a very good dual meet. Poway took third last year. St. John Bosco took seventh. In the state. In the state, yeah. yeah. But they're, I think they were both ranked nationally. Um, so it'll it'll be it'll be good on both ends. St. John Bosco, I know, has at least they have a couple of kids that are ranked nationally already. So they're turning into a powerhouse. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll be a powerhouse if they're not. Or, yeah, they are. If, if, they're it, not, yeah. if they're not considered a powerhouse now. Well, coach, finally, how, how one last time to kind of maybe um, get some you know interest from the viewers out there right. who might be really into wrestling or maybe casually wrestling. Maybe they have a, a son who wrestles, you know, to kind right. of get them into the event center. Yeah, I would just say, um, you know, California, and I'm from Iowa, and I wrestled at Iowa. And when I wrestled, we had 12,000 fans that would come. And it was just a great venue and a great event. Uh, the intensity in, in wrestling, college wrestling, is, is rather high uh, compared, I would say, to most other sports. So you have a Big Ten team coming, and they're hard to get out here. And, and if I had a son that was interested or is wrestling, well, I'd like to show him what some of the be- you know these All-Americans look like, how they act maybe, you know, uh, all of that. But uh, being the fact that I don't believe anybody who has been in the top two of the NCAAs has been out here for I'm not so sure ever for, for a long yeah ever yeah. Uh, but I can say since I've been coaching out here since 2001 it hasn't happened um, so anyway just the sake of all that going on and you got some you got some college wrestlers going to be wrestling in the high school matches to be honest with you there's some kids that there's probably a good you know four or five guys that are going to be wrestling in college so you got two high quality events two 
that are going on at the same time in an hour and 45 minutes. Come see the event center. It's a beautiful place. Uh, even though it's semi-big, it, it, it holds 15. It's very um, uh, comfortable. And, and you, no matter where your ticket is, you're going to have a good seat for both matches. Well, it's CBU taking on the Ohio State, like Coach just said. Uh, this is a big deal to have the Buckeyes come into Riverside for, for a match like this. So, right. Coach, it was great talking to you. We've just gone inside the Lancers, presented by Magnolia Heating and Cooling. Coach, we appreciate the time, and best of luck against the Buckeyes. Well, thank you.